Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel, Balakrishna Quiza. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to get the latest notifications. This is a video that is meant for knowledge sharing. This video is created as one of my best students asked me a question to explain. Let's get into the details. What is the question that is asked? Please watch the complete video for the complete interpretation and understanding. Why is Leaning Tower of Pisa leaning? Why doesn't it fall? So let's break the secret and start decoding the secrets behind Leaning Tower of Pisa. Please note that this video is not created to explain the history behind Leaning Tower of Pisa. This is an attempt to explain the physics and mathematics behind Leaning Tower of Pisa using a 2D form of technology. Without further ado, let's get started. It all starts with the two eminent architects that dates back to the 1170 named Bonanno Pisano from Italy, who initiated the construction of Leaning Tower of Pisa and completed Phase 1. After Phase 1, Phase 2 and Phase 3 are completed under the guidance of another eminent Italian architect named as Giovanni di Simone. Let's see the three phases of construction. This is the construction timeline, which shows about the three phases of construction. This is the phase 1, this is phase 2, and this is phase 3. Now that we have seen the construction phases, let's dive into the further understanding why Leaning Tower of Pisa is leaning. Please drop your comments at any point of this video and it will be a pleasure to answer them. This is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You can clearly see that the tower is leaning towards right side when viewed from straight, standing opposite to the cathedral square. Now let's get into the focus of Pisa Tower. You can see the foundation basement of the Tower of Pisa. This white line is the ground level indicator. Now let's understand why is Leaning Tower of Pisa leaning. The word Pisa comes from the Greek word which means marshy land, which is a combination of clay wet sand and mud. The engineers and architects who were the masters of their craft, they knew found less about the sand that they are constructed on. Because of this loose soil and marshy land, the tower started to lean. This is the main reason why Leaning Tower of Pisa is leaning. Now we have few tools by which we can dive into the deep about Tower of Pisa to answer three questions. What is the leaning angle? of Pisa Tower. Even if it is leaning, why doesn't it fall? To what extent it stands and when will the Tower of Pisa collapse? Let's get into the, the details. To find out exactly the angle at which the Leaning Tower of Pisa is leaning, I am taking the help of the protractor and math tool. We will have two reference lines which are mentioned in red color and dotted for reference. Now introducing the protractor at the point of the basement at which tower ends, we can clearly see that the leaning of the tower is 5.44 degrees. Please note, currently due to the advent of technology and engineering excellence, the leaning is reduced to 3.99 degrees. Now proceeding to the next question, why doesn't it fall? We need to use the basic math tools for finding out the distance of leaning from basement. You can see the red reference line which is perpendicular to its basement. Now we need to calculate the distance between the end point of the basement and red reference line using a constant scale, which we can see here as 1.1 centimeters. Please note, the structural framework related to the Tower of Pisa looks like this. You can see that the bottom red line indicator, which is exactly perpendicular to the tower, is meeting the end point for cross-checking whether our calculations are correct. Further proceeding in understanding the tower in physics view, let's work on the center of the gravity of the tower. Firstly, let's calculate the CG, center of the gravity of the tower, which is standing straight. Let me introduce a vertical axis and a horizontal axis, which coincides at the center through our scale. Length of the basement is 4.6 centimeters, hence the midpoint is 2.3 centimeters, and the height of the tower is 15 centimeters as per the scale, and the midpoint is 7.5 centimeters. The point at which it meets is the CG which is indicated with green dot at the center. Now let's see the CG of the tower which is slant at an angle of 5.44 degrees introducing the vertical and horizontal axis and finding the CG and is indicated with a green dot at the center. Now we have seen the two references which are calculated the center of the gravity 
of the straight tower and the center of the gravity of leaning tower we need to find the exact cg of the tower of the pisa combining these two references this is calculated taking the center point of the closed geometry figure passing two straight lines connecting two dots of opposite angles this is highlighted with red color point now let's draw the two straight lines horizontal and vertical passing through the center points of the basement and height of the tower which is revised cg which is indicated through the red color lines now that the revised cg lines between the points of straight tower and leaning tower the tower is stable and doesn't fall till the point of the revised cg lies inside the closed geometry figure the tower remains stable this is the simple physics behind leaning tower of pisa finally concluding let's take a few calculations that we have done the total leaning is found to be 1.1 cm as per our scale then the basement length is 4.6 cm and half the base of it is 2.3 cm representing all these things leaning is less than half of its base that is 1.1 cm less than 2.3 cm which is half of its base hence the tower is stable as the revised cg lies between the points of straight tower and leaning tower the tower is stable and doesn't fall so hope this simple video could answer the basic questions related to the leaning tower of pisa if you like this video please give a thumbs up and share the video with friends and this is your balakrishna quesar signing off please feel free to comment thank you